hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a silk press video so definitely make sure you are subscribed here I'm just showing you what my hair looks like after I have detangled and washed my hair we're gonna go right in with this 12 benefits spray it acts as a heat protectant a leave-in it's good for dry hair colored hair this stuff is actually really really good and I didn't even know I had it I just kind of was looking through my hair drawer and found it because I needed a heat protectant so here we are I will definitely let you guys know what I think towards the end about this heat protectant and how my hair turned out so I'm gonna just make sure that I am spraying this all over my hair I want to make sure all of my hair is getting protected I don't want to cause any heat damage so when I revert my hair back to being curly I am still able to get the definition that I normally get so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna take off the towel and just kind of wipe around my hairline because it was getting really drippy and I hate when my hair gets drippy so I'm just going to massage this into my hair and then start creating smaller sections so that I'm able to start blow drying my hair So now I'm going to go in and detangle my hair just a little bit more to make sure everything is smooth so I don't get any snags or tangles while I'm doing my blow drying process. This is going to help out a ton. So I'm just using a wide tooth comb and my blow dryer is on high, is on medium heat and high speed. So I wanted to make sure that I wasn't damaging my hair too much because I don't really put a lot of heat on my hair and I never really wear my hair straight or um, add too much heat to my hair. The most heat that I put on my hair is if I'm doing a protective style and I I need to blow dry my hair so my braider can actually braid it so I wanted to do um, small sections and really take my time focusing on that section to get it as smooth as possible so when I go in with my flat iron I don't have to apply lots and lots of heat that way I don't get any heat damage so I'm going to just continue to do this all over my head and you guys can just watch the blow dry process. I think when it comes to a silk press that blow drying is really, really important just because if you knock out all of the like super thick, coarse, wet, damp hair and straighten it and get it as smooth as possible, that it actually makes the flat ironing process a lot easier because you are not having to battle with really going through your hair like straighten it a bunch of times on the highest heat setting and really causing any heat damage so I like to really take my time and blow dry my hair just so my process is a lot easier and yeah I don't get any heat damage side note this has nothing to do with the silk press video but recently I have been using an aloe vera like oil on my hair and I have noticed such a huge difference in the thickness of my hair and I will say that I actually noticed that it's getting thick from the root and it's growing downward which I'm really really happy about I also clipped my ends a couple months ago so if you guys haven't seen that video I will link it in the cards and down below in the description box so you guys can check out that video that was the first time I had clipped my ends in literally years so I finally clipped them and I have seen a huge difference in my hair I noticed that I don't get as many tangles at the end as many knots that I used to get when it comes to the detangling process I also noticed that my hair is starting to have a little bit more thickness to the ends of my hair and I really think that's because I went ahead and clipped them and I don't really have any split ends at the moment. I have a few but not as many as I had prior to clipping my ends and giving myself the trim. So I would definitely recommend if you guys are in the process of trying to grow your hair out to try the aloe vera um, oil and also to clip your ends because it makes a world of difference. Like my hair is so much thicker it's crazy and I haven't felt my hair be this thick in a really really long time so it's really easy to make the DIY aloe vera oil and I would highly recommend trying it out especially if you are trying to thicken up your hair and your hair needs more moisture definitely test it out
so now I'm just going through with the blow dryer on a cool heat setting making sure everything is dry and squared away then I'm gonna go in with some bio silk and I love bio silk it's really good for getting your hair super silky straight now I wasn't really sure how my hair was gonna turn out but you know let's just go for it so I used probably like a quarter size amount focusing on the roots of my hair and then I went in with a little bit more probably like a dime size amount and really focused on putting the bio silk on the ends of my hair because I wanted to make sure that my hair would be as straight and as smooth as possible so when it came to the flat ironing process I didn't have to use a lot of heat then I'm gonna go in and section off another small section and this time I'm doing something a little bit different that I've never done before or used on my hair actually. But I saw a lot of people doing this and they said it really helped their straightening process. So I'm gonna go in with a round blow dry brush and a cool warm setting on high speed and really smooth out my hair. Now I will admit using a blow dry brush or a round brush is really hard because my arms were stuck stinging like it was really really hard doing it on myself i think using this brush on someone else would be a lot easier or if you know how to use the brush and i just showed you guys what brush i'm using i got it off of amazon because i forgot to do it before i started blow drying my hair with it so i did notice that i made my ends really really smooth which i was really happy with that result but again my arms were tired so here is what my hair looks like after I have blown everything dry. I'm just kind of combing through, making sure there's no tangles and seeing what I'm working with as of now. Then I'm going in with this flat iron from Con Air and I've had this flat iron for maybe like six, seven, eight years. It's like literally my OG flat iron. I probably couldn't start, you know, investing in a better one, but this is what I had on hand, so this is what I use. Then I'm just gonna go in and start straightening the hair using the chase method, which is just a rat tail comb and you hook it into your hair and then you flat iron and comb all the way to the ends and I only did two passes on my hair for each section that I did I literally did two passes and no more this is what the first section is looking like I was okay with the results but I think that if I would have had a better flat iron I could have got a little bit better of results but I mean I'm not complaining I'm not mad and plus I'm not gonna wear my hair straight for that long anyway just wanted something a little bit different I did focus mainly on the root of my hair because like I said since using the aloe vera oil my hair has gotten so freaking thick it's ridiculous like I wish my hair would get this thick all the way to the ends because it's just massively thick at the root and like in the middle of my hair and I feel like towards the end my hair is a little thin so yeah anyway I'm doing the same thing all the way around the head just going in with the chase method and focusing mainly all the heat on the root just kind of making sure it's super straight and there are no lumps or like more coarser pieces towards the top and then I am just sliding it down the shaft of my hair using the flat iron. So I'm gonna do one more pass, just making sure it's really straight. Again, focusing mainly on the root and then do my last little section, focus on the root, drag it all the way to the end and then go over it one more time just to secure and make sure there are no puffy pieces. Now we're gonna focus on our edges. So normally I would just leave my edges natural when I'm wearing my hair natural and just put some edge control or some gel because I don't mind my ends being, or my edges being like curly because I just put some edge control and they're fine. But since we are doing a quote unquote silk press, I needed to straighten those bad boys out. And I'm just going around my hairline using my fingers to kind of just pull up my edges and straighten them out a bit. Then I'm going to comb through my hair and just kind of get a feel of what my hair is looking like because I hate my hair flat. I don't like it. I 
am not a fan of it so I went ahead and did a side part and then I'm going to add some flat iron curls because I saw people doing this in their silk press videos where they curl the hair and I'm not gonna lie to you it was kind of hard trying to figure out how to do the curls with the flat iron I'm not good at it so I definitely need to practice a little bit more so I just went ahead and did some flat iron curls around my entire head I will admit that I probably should have curled my hair outward instead of inward because I'll show you guys why but I'm just going to curl all over my head Then I'm gonna go in with this ORS olive oil oil sheen spray and then I'm gonna use my round brush to wrap my hair. I saw everybody wrapping their hair after they did the curls so I was like, you know what, let me just put my hair in a wrap and let me just continue to follow instructions and see what happens, what this does and that's what I did. So I'm just using the round brush which I would highly suggest if you are doing a silk press to get a round brush. I feel like it made the wrapping process so easy. I was actually kind of shocked about how simple and easy it was to wrap my hair especially after not wrapping my hair for years like I haven't had a silk press in a long time so wrapping the wrapping process was always hard for me and this definitely made it a lot lot easier then I'm going to go ahead and tie my hair down I don't have a hooded dryer to sit under but that's totally fine I just went ahead and wrapped my hair for a little bit and we're okay So it's been a couple minutes, maybe like 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap my hair and show you guys what my hair is looking like. I also wanna let you guys know that my hair did feel really, really smooth. I definitely think if I got a different uh, flat iron that it would definitely make a huge difference in my results. Also, I went ahead and styled my hair. So if you guys wanna see how I styled my hair in these cute little waves that you're about to see, definitely let me know down below in the comments and I will gladly show you guys. So here is what my hair is looking like. I definitely felt my hair a lot more after I added some curls and some height and some volume to it. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!